Ever pondered on why electric car engines are considered the future of transportation? Welcome to a journey into the heart of these marvels of modern engineering. Electric car engines are not just about being eco-friendly, though that's a significant part of the appeal. They represent a paradigm shift in how we think about cars, from the way they're powered to how they're designed. The world of electric car engines is a fascinating one, filled with innovation and potential. These engines are not just about replacing gasoline, they're about reimagining what a car can be. They're about efficiency, about smart design, and about integrating seamlessly with the digital world. These engines are a testament to human ingenuity, a symbol of our commitment to cleaner, more sustainable living. They are the embodiment of the spirit of innovation, changing our roads and our world for the better. Join us as we unravel the fascinating world of electric car engines. At the core of an electric car lies its motor, a marvel of modern engineering. This is where the magic happens, where the electric juice is transformed into raw, kinetic power. It's the beating heart of the electric car, the piece that gives it life and motion. Let's dive in and explore this fascinating piece of technology. The electric motor, in its basic form, is a device that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. That's a fancy way of saying it makes things move, but how does it do this? Well, it's all about the power of magnetism. Inside the motor, electricity is used to create a magnetic field. This field interacts with magnets attached to the motor's rotor causing it to spin. And voila! The spinning rotor then drives the car's wheels, and we're off to the races. But there's more to it than just spinning. The motor also controls the car's speed, torque, and efficiency. It's not just a one-trick pony, it's a multi-talented performer that juggles several roles at once. The motor adjusts the amount of electricity it draws based on how hard you hit the accelerator. More electricity means more magnetic force which means faster spinning and more speed. On the other hand, less electricity means less force, slower spinning, and, you guessed it, less speed. What's really impressive about the electric motor is its efficiency. While traditional internal combustion engines waste roughly two-thirds of their energy, as heat electric motors are far more frugal. They can convert over 90% of their electrical energy into motion. That's not just good for your wallet, it's good for the planet too. The electric motor is also incredibly compact and quiet compared to its gasoline-guzzling counterparts. This makes for a smoother, quieter ride and allows for more creative car designs. Who knew that something so small could have such a big impact? So, there we have it. The motor, a vital component of the electric car engine, is a true marvel of engineering. It's efficient, powerful, and remarkably versatile. So, the motor, in essence, is what breathes life into an electric car. But where does the motor get its energy from? The answer is the battery. Now let's dive into the heart of an electric car, the battery. The battery is the power source for the electric car engine. It's the powerhouse that stores and provides the electrical energy that the motor needs to function. Picture the battery as a giant energy storage unit. It's filled with potential. Potential that is released when you turn the key and bring your car to life. The battery sends this stored energy to the motor, which then converts it into mechanical energy to power the wheels. There's a fascinating science behind this process. In the simplest of terms, a battery consists of cells. These cells contain chemicals that produce electrons. When we talk about charging a battery, we're talking about supplying it with these electrons. When you plug your electric car into a charger, it's like feeding your car a hearty meal. The charger provides the battery with a fresh supply of electrons, replenishing its energy stores. And when you drive, the motor draws these electrons from the battery, using their energy to power the car. But what about the battery's lifespan? Well, like all things, batteries have a life cycle. They can't be charged and discharged indefinitely. Over time, the battery's ability to hold a charge diminishes. But don't worry. Car manufacturers have made significant strides in battery technology. Today's electric car batteries are designed to last for many years and thousands of miles. And lastly, it's important to mention the environmental impact. Electric car batteries are not just energy efficient, they're also environmentally friendly. They produce zero tailpipe emissions, reducing air pollution and helping to combat climate change. Plus, many components of these batteries can be recycled, further reducing their environmental footprint. In many ways, the battery is the fuel tank of an electric car. It's the reservoir that holds the energy needed to power your journey. So next time you're cruising down the highway in your electric car, spare a thought for the incredible battery technology that's making it all possible. Managing the flow of energy from the battery to the motor is a crucial task and that's where the controller comes in. Now the controller in an electric car engine is not just a simple switch flipping on and off. 
No, it's a highly sophisticated piece of technology, a veritable maestro conducting a symphony of electrons. Imagine, if you will, a river. The battery is the source, the motor is the sea, and the controller, it's the dam, regulating the flow of water or in our case, electricity. It carefully monitors and adjusts the amount of power that goes from the battery to the motor. Too much, and you risk overheating and damaging the motor. Too little, and you won't have the power you need to drive. But how does the controller know how much power to send? Well, that's where the car's accelerator comes into play. When you press down on the pedal, the controller reads that input and adjusts the energy flow accordingly. Press down harder and more energy is sent to the motor, increasing your speed. Ease off and less energy is sent, slowing you down. However, the controller's job doesn't end there. It also plays a crucial role in regenerative braking, a feature unique to electric vehicles. When you apply the brakes, instead of just dissipating the kinetic energy as heat like in traditional cars, the controller reverses the motor's operation, turning it into a generator. This process converts some of the energy back into electricity, which is then stored in the battery for later use. The controller also monitors the health of the motor and battery, checking for any signs of issues that could potentially harm the vehicle. It's a constant balancing act, ensuring the perfect harmony between power and efficiency at all times. So you see, the controller is not just a simple regulator, it's the conductor of the electric car's orchestra, the director of its performance, the brain behind the operation. It's the unsung hero that keeps your electric vehicle running smoothly and efficiently, making sure you get where you need to go without any hiccups. Think of the controller as the brain of an electric car, making sure everything runs smoothly. One of the unique features of electric cars is their regenerative braking system, a silent workhorse that's often overlooked. An unsung hero, the regenerative braking system is a vital cog in the electric vehicle machinery. But what does it do exactly? Well, it's all in the name. Regenerative braking, as the term suggests, regenerates or recovers the energy that's usually lost when we brake. In a traditional car, when you hit the brakes, the energy generated from the motion is converted into heat and lost. It's a one-way trip. But a regenerative braking system turns this on its head. It captures that kinetic energy and converts it back into usable electricity, which is then fed back into the battery. It's a two-way street, a cycle of energy conservation and reuse. This is an amazing feat of engineering that enhances the efficiency of electric cars. By recapturing energy and feeding it back into the system, the regenerative braking system extends the range of electric vehicles, reducing the frequency of charging stops and making electric cars even more practical for long-distance travel. And it's not just about efficiency and convenience. Regenerative braking is a big win for the environment too. By maximizing the use of energy and reducing waste, it contributes to the overall eco-friendliness of electric cars. It's a system that embodies the spirit of sustainability that's at the heart of electric vehicle technology. But how does it feel to drive a car with regenerative braking? Well, it might take a bit of getting used to. When you lift your foot off the accelerator in an electric car, the regenerative braking system kicks in, slowing the car down and recapturing energy. It's a bit like driving with the brake and the accelerator at the same time. But once you get the hang of it, it's a smooth and intuitive experience. So next time you brake in an electric car, remember you're not just stopping, you're also charging. So there you have it, the key components that make an electric car engine work. We've delved into the heart of the motor, the lifeline that is the battery, the brains in the controller, and the energy-conserving regenerative braking system. Each of these elements plays a critical role, harmoniously working together to create a vehicle that's not only efficient but also environmentally friendly. The motor, with its simplicity and efficiency, propels us forward. The battery, a marvel of energy storage, keeps us going. The controller, a testament to smart design, ensures everything runs smoothly. And the regenerative braking system, an ingenious way to conserve energy, helps to extend our journey. As we've seen, the electric car engine is more than a sum of its parts. It's a symbol of progress, a beacon of sustainability. As we move towards a more sustainable future, the electric car engine stands as a testament to human ingenuity and our ability to innovate for the betterment of our world.